positive feedback from the last Oi Time video I did. I can, you know, why not do it again? But with a stupid doodle of me to make things more fun. I'm going to be honest, I enjoy these. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. But let me show you what happens when I try to draw.
all practical learning and barely any writing. I learnt and entered an industry that I didn't know I would come to love at the time. I met and made friends with plenty of like-minded people. It also helped me greatly when it came to making Meta Runner. Speaking of that, it was already in the middle of production at the time, and I was deep into helping the art team with stuff, so I was pretty busy living three lives of a meme lord, a creative director, and a art student. It was when we got to major group projects in the middle of the first year when I realized, wait, I'm already doing a major group project called Meta Runner. I should spend my time on something that's actually going to mean something. And that also means more time on SMG4. Who doesn't like that? And so, I dropped out. Again. And I've only ever been working on YouTube stuff ever since. You know, it's funny that almost every story I hear from someone who's in university is that they hate their degree, but they have to do it because they already put years into doing it. Or they just chose a degree because they didn't know what to do, and they just want to live, you know, the student life. So they can just not focus on anything and just chill. That stuff can easily be avoided if people aim to go towards something they actually want to do from the very beginning. I'm extremely lucky and appreciative to have YouTube and you guys. You all give me a clear goal to work towards and motivation to improve. I'm also very grateful to Kevin and my family who are very understanding in what I do and what I want to achieve. If I hadn't followed what I wanted, I'd probably still be doing boring ass essays and have less time to do YouTube. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today. In saying all of this, don't copy what I did. I had a very specific set of circumstances around me with YouTube and whatnot. So don't straight up go to your parents and ask to drop out or whatever. Just keep in mind what you enjoy or want to do now. And maybe use that passion to train and to open up new paths later down the line. And if you do want to shift towards something else, then take a long hard look at the facts before you make a decision. Remember, only you get to decide what you think is the correct answer. But I hope you learned something out of this stupid little video. And with that, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think of the stories and the doodles. See ya!